Fire crews in Pawnee County continue to battle a destructive blaze. Two people were hurt when an explosion inside of an airplane parts manufacturing facility near the town of Cleveland sparked a fire that took firefighters several hours just to get under control. It's happening at ISIS Corporation, a company that makes airplane parts. Our reporter Brian Miller is live outside the business where crews are still fighting that fire. Brian. That's right. Several fire crews remain out here tonight. They've been out here much of the day arriving to this fire call just around 1:30 this afternoon. And some of those fire crews that you can see behind me, well, they'll be here until well after the sun comes up. The night sky is lit up by red and blue emergency lights as smoke billows from the building into the air. Inside, firefighters say temperatures soaring up to about 1,500 degrees. These 10 buildings are pretty much uh, an oven. Cleveland's fire chief can't help but think of the dozens of families affected by the blaze that shut down this business. It's, it's pretty devastating. I mean, you've got 50 to 60 people here that don't know what the future is for right now. Only two workers were inside when firefighters say an explosion from an unknown source started the fire. They were hospitalized with burns but are expected to be okay. As for the chief who spent his life in this small town, this fire hitting way too close to home. As far as I'm, as me, I'm physically ill right now. And just thinking of those affected, I'm physically ill. Well, these fire crews, they just had a shift change here a couple of hour, hours ago, so they have a set fresh of a, a fresh set of crews rather that will be out here until the early morning hours keeping an eye on hot spots reporting live just outside Cleveland in Pawnee County. I'm Brian Miller. Two works for you.